Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Glover. In the last episode we defeated Prehistoria and in this episode we're going to the fear level. It's Tower of Fear, it's something like that. It's something of fear. It's the horror themed level. And it's probably my least favorite level. This is the level that I always got stuck on when I was a kid. I'm not too fond of the music, the theme's okay, the level design's kind of iffy. I don't know, I'm just not huge on this level, but I know a lot of people who totally could be. So, that's alright. You can like this if you want, you can leave your friends behind, because your friends don't fear, and if they don't fear, well, they must not be me, but whatever. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Welcome to the Carnival of Fear, or the Tower of Fear, or whatever the hell. In this level, it's rather straightforward, although this is the level that I could never beat as a kid. Like, I had to have my brother beat it for me so I could get to the next world. Uh, <laughs> I was never a good gamer as a kid. But whatever, I got 19 lives as you can see. All I did was spend like 5 minutes just going to the Prehistoria 3 and going around and around the uh, things with my crystal. Oh no, I have died! Death 1 of Tower of Fear. The levels are kind of long, and that's a little obnoxious. Again, probably my least favorite world, but it does have some cool things, and it has a lot of potions in it. That potion isn't really useful, so I'm not going to take it. That's the flight potion. Oh god. Oh no, it helps you bypass them, though. Uh, wonky ball physics, making it difficult for me to dodge them. Alright, so I get- oh, no, 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 Let's just go ahead and fly over him, I guess. Those flashes are really freaking annoying. Like, they really get on my nerves sometimes. Okay, here's a new, uh... Here's a new uh, potion that we have never seen before. I'm going to go ahead and put my ball away so that it does not affect... The potion does not affect it instantly. Because this potion would probably knock it off that ledge. Because you see, it's a magical multicolored potion. What this potion does is I, it automatically makes me cast it on my ball to turn it into a giant beach ball. And, oh my god, does it bounce high. There we go. No! That's not what I meant to do! You don't really need to turn your ball into a beach ball. Uh, I don't remember if it's ever used again. I don't believe it's used in this world again. But it's probably used to collect garabs. So is this, probably. But I just use this to bypass the clank shoes. Alright, yeah, you don't really need to use that to press these, like, at all. And if you try and throw it, obviously you kill yourself. Because you have no idea where the ball is going. Because it's a giant beach ball. It, like, it's filled up with air. I completely forgot when I went into this that there was a technically fifth mode that your ball could be in. Alright. We have unlocked the giant door, finally. No! Frisbees, no! Whizbees, whatever. Frisbees. Let's go ahead and just unlock this. I believe I'm actually nearly done with this level. I'm not entirely sure on that, so do not quote me. Oh yeah, I believe this is just all that I have left. Alright, so now what I gotta do is I gotta push these golden things. I believe there are sections of pipe. Gotta be careful of these guys. You gotta stun them. Although I stunned him when he was in the way. Oh well. You gotta push these all the way. You have to stop. You have to do it until where it does not move anymore. So there. Now I'm done. And it's a good idea for you to stun these guys before you do this. Because obviously they will hurt you because they have hurt me many, many times. 
my I have a broken heart because of these guys. Ba boom, I'm done. That guy's about to hit me, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> that was a little unfair. But it's okay because this game's good in the fact that although you get sent back to the checkpoint, everything you have done up to that point is still done. You don't need to recollect any garabs, you don't have to recollect any anything else. I just gotta go and hit this. And I believe that will unleash the exit. Or at least the pathway to the exit. Boom. No, I believe that's the exit. Alright. Oh, I nearly just popped my ball because I was like, oh, let me just jump over this guy with a giant spiky mace. That sounds like a beautiful idea, Marzen. Why don't you do that? And in the meanwhile, why don't you jump on that mace yourself? Right. I like maces. They're cool weapons. More people need to use maces. Anyway, here we are at the end of the level. Yeah! Yeah! Victorious organ music. Yep, told me to finish that in 155. I can tell you to go F yourself, game. Jeez, their speedruns are ridiculous. Alright, level 2. Now we're in some kind of haunted castle. Haunted, falling apart, weird ass castle place with dragon statues. This, this blue floor will fall apart when you touch it, so you gotta be quick on it. When you're rolling, you move faster, so obviously roll with the ball as you go across that and everything will be hunky-dory. Oh no! I forgot about that! There are some sections of the floor that, if, that are booby-trapped. If you go across them, they will unleash spikes. There's a section later on, I believe in this level, it might be in the next one that has a, a very innocent-seeming one-up, and if you go anywhere near it, it freaking explodes into spikes and will completely negate the one-up, so there's no point. Jesus! God, that flung me a long way. Duck to avoid being killed by explosions. To do this, press and hold Z. Thank you, Mr. Tip. You might- you- you- you probably knew that I was going to get thrown up there! How nice of you. Alright, so, in order to defeat this puzzle, basically what happens is if you put this on this, it opens up and then instantly closes. If you hold the ball on there, it will still do this. So you just gotta let go of the ball and let it roll down. And rush through it. Alright, and then you just gotta push this and this will, instant, this will allow them to open up forever. Very easy puzzle, but uh, one that we haven't really faced yet before, so... Legit. Too legit to quit. I am too legit to quit, Glover. This is still that same day where I was doing the third world, the pirate world. I'm going to try and beat it today. It's not really a... Oh, gosh dang darn. It's not a difficult game by any means, or like a long one, so... Only six worlds. <sighs> Looks like I gotta do this again. Do I have to just... Yeah, okay. Just don't let the ball hit the button, hit the thing ever again, and we should be good. Should be good. Just gotta be careful. That's a little bit of a weird design choice. <laughs> I don't even know, it is a, it's an especially weird design choice to have your doors openable by ball. But what do I know? The Wizbees are cute in this level, they're like little green monsters. By the way, electricity makes your ball instantly explode, so do not, do not touch electricity with your ball. Whoop. In order to open up this door, you must defeat the mummy. And to defeat the mummy, you just knock him over and blah, like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boom! We're done with level two. That was really freaking quick. Wow. Quick levels. All done. And even though I did it super quickly, it tells me I didn't. Up yours, game. I always used to think that was like telling me that that was the par. Like, oh, that should be the average time that you defeat this level in. I'm like, seriously? That's ridiculous. These levels are, whoa, dead. 
These levels are way too difficult for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, now when I was doing my practice file, I gamed over on this and decided to give up. This was, uh, like, not give up, I was just like, okay, I'm done for right now. And I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and continue on to, uh, actually doing the Let's Play since I've done World 3, like, a few times over by now. And made sure that I can actually play it legitimately. Alright, just follow this along here. Be careful of the, of the Wisbees. Oh, they're so cute looking. Alright. Oh, oh, that coffin nearly threw me off. Because it's a moving platform, and moving platforms are evil in this game. Alright, here's the one-up. That one-up will murder you. Like that. Pretty sure if you, like, jump to it without going across, you will be able to get it. But, uh, I did not. I went the obvious way of just, like, let's walk up to it. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm back down. I might as well just kill myself. <laughs> I'm back down to near the beginning of the level. Okay, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Let's try and get this one up. Cool. Yeah, see, it's activated by going certain areas. If you go here... Oh. Maybe not. Huh. Alright, well, let's go across. Oh, a beach ball. How lovely. I forgot about this. I guess there are more places where you get to use the beach ball. You bounce so high! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Alright, you gotta jump like... Oh, not like that! Oh, wow, I cannot believe I made that. Up, 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 there we go. That's a little difficult. Okay, I was nearly about to jump there, and that would have been catastrophic. Oh, no, oh, come off it! Wait, what? Oh, I just, like, completely looked away, and then I looked back, and hey, I'm not dead! Well, now I am, because I fell off on purpose. On purpose, I say. Alright. Let's go ahead and use the beach ball again. For a second, I thought the potion wasn't there. I was like, seriously, game? What if I didn't get to use it properly the first time? But I was like, oh my god, a freaking beach ball. Because he didn't need to use the beach ball last time, either. So he could have been like, what the freaking hell is this? Alright, let's use this to get over these gaps easier. Oh, oh, come on. Actually, bounce. Thank you. There's those cannonballs again. Oh, jeez, you gotta get yourself into those ridges really, really quickly or else you're going to fly off. I'm not entirely sure what that did. <laughs> I've even gotten past this, like... Two days ago, I did this. No! Well, there goes my ball. Ah! Alright, so where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? I'm going to assume it's still up here and, like, just a little bit back and I didn't notice it. Oh, God! Okay. I'm all good. I'm fine. I'm dandy. Hmm. Alright. It's, it's in that castle, I can tell, like... Oh! Here it is. Wait, no. This is the entrance. Lovely. I just went backwards. When I thought I was going forwards. I was like, oh, I thought I had, you know... Thought I had explored this place. Well, I did! Alright. Oh no! Wisbees! Wisbees! Oh, Jesus! Okay, we're all good. Back off, Wisby. Don't think I don't know your game. It's Glover. Alright. Haha, <laughs> what a joke, Marzen. You're a riot. We're going to give you all of our monies. Oh, I died. Man, this level's... This level's confusing and tough. Maybe I should have finished this level. 
Now this is where I am going blind, by the way. Oh god. Like, not blind, I've beaten this game before, but I have never... I, I haven't done this in, like, at least ten years. So... Like I said, this is the level I always got stuck on as a kid. In fact, it was the first level of this world that I always got stuck on, so... Obviously... Not too good at it. There it is. I knew it was up here, I just had to check. That's all. Okay, good, I was like, are we going to do something, game? Alright, finally. Hey, don't you dare let go of that ball, you dick. Alright, come on. Come on. Any day now. Okay, good. I was afraid I'd throw it off the edge. Alright, this is where I gamed over, by the way, I'm pretty sure. This electricity is really, uh, really obnoxious. You gotta, like, go through it quickly and try and time it, but, like, these edges will push you towards the electricity. So... Oh, uh, Jesus, that was close. Oh, God! And then you'd fall down here because you're trying to rush and you don't look at what's ahead of you and you fall down. But it's alright, we got through it. I'm not running blind, by the way. I did get over here. Ah, God! <laughs> that was bad. Don't be that close to explosives when you are holding a rubber ball. Courtesy of Varzen64, your daily PSA. Public safety announcement. Pubic safety announcement. Your public pubic safety announcement. Always use a condom. Unless you are the last two people on Earth, then please don't use a condom. Oh, jeez, Louisus. That was actually a reference to friends, by the way. Oh! Gosh dang it. I walked through that wall, huh. Well, floated through the wall. That was a reference to friends, by the way. I saw a picture today about that. It was like... So, what have you gotten there? Condoms? Well, what if we're the last two people on Earth? I mean, we have to repopulate the Earth with condoms. Anyway. Jokes! Stolen from other TV shows. This is not a TV show. Not even in the slightest. Come on, come on. Oh, that was close. I still have yet to die by electricity, I think, but let's not jinx it, considering what the boss is. Come on! God, that's obnoxious. Stupid ball physics sometimes. On slopes, they're really obnoxious. Because you just, like, slide off and you can't stop it, the momentum's too much. Marzen, do you hate this game? What? No, I'm just getting a little upset. My throat hurts, actually. I've been talking for too long. Like, I never... I, I don't... Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Glover. Or maybe I should talk like Christopher Walken, and maybe then I'll be able to beat the game. Hello, everybody. I'm in the horror world. You know, I kind of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because I feel like I'm Hyde at all times in my life. But I don't know what I'm talking about, because I never actually read the book. Holy shit, my ball exploded. <laughs> okay, let's let's not do any more Christopher Walken. Actually, I did have to read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde a little while ago. Also Frankenstein. Uh, for... for British lit. I didn't actually have to read Frankenstein. It, we were going to read it, but then we didn't. So I was like, I've been wanting to read this book for ages. Let me read it. So I, they're like, okay, and you can write your final thesis on that. I had to choose two books, and I chose Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Frankenstein. And then I talked about uh, humanity and what the two um, books think that the human nature is. And how Frankenstein thinks human nature is relatively... Come on. Innocent. 
while uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thinks it is inherently violent and cruel. Finally got past that part. All right. I'm an English major, by the way, so I have to write on this kind of stuff a lot. Ah! <laughs> that was not a good thing that happened. I really should have seen that coming, but it was going too fast. I, oh no! Gosh dang it. Gosh dang darn. Gosh gosh dang! Gosh gosh arsh narsh. Alright, I got. I think I gotta switch to a marble for this one so I can roll up easier. Come on! There we go. Are we almost done? Great bowling balls. That bowling ball just like shook its head like, oh no, you ain't even close. Hey, I'm done! Yes. Huzzah! That one was a much longer level. I guess there's there should always be kind of two short ones and one long one. Makes sense. If you heard a little bit of rustling, my computer almost fell over, so I had to stop that from happening. I have to like balance my computer? God, that was 11 minutes? Jesus. Alright. Welcome to the boss of the It's Frankenstein's monster. Look at him, he's just a happy little monster just standing there like, uh. And then of course Cross Stitch has to show up and ruin it by electrocute electrocuting the poor guy, yes. Electrocuting the core guy. So now he's like, oh god, why? And then he has to get off give off the discharge. So the point of this boss battle, there is no health bar. In order to beat the guy, you have to uh, flip a switch. So what I gotta do is I gotta go ahead and put my ball right here. And what I have to do is I have to climb on these. There's a switch like up on, uh, you see that switch, that, that thing I was just climbing on. Let's go ahead and hit this twice. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I screwed it up. Well, it's okay, because you can hit that, and then just redo it. Alright, every time you'll just walk around and try and electrocute some of the things that you're standing on, so you have to be wary of those. Alright, you have to hit this one... ...twice. This one... ...twice. You can actually stun him like that. Oh, frick, I messed up again. But it's alright, because I got this. This boss is kind of difficult, but not really. You probably shouldn't die from it. Although, if you get anywhere close to him when he's electrocuted, he will freaking pop your balloon and everything, and that's never any fun. And of course, don't stand on the things that are getting electrocuted. I'm pretty sure it's an insta-kill. But, basically, this will knock that one up one peg. So, let's now wait for this one to go down. Knock this down two pegs. Go over here. Knock this down two pegs. Just stun him. That's right. Eat it, Frankenstein's monster. And ba boom. Now we're all done. So what we gotta do is we gotta quickly, quickly, quickly grab our ball and try and bounce up. This is a little bit obnoxious because of ball physics, but we should be able to deal with it. Please do not. Ugh. Okay. Oh frick. Alright, now we gotta wait for him. Again, if he gets anywhere close to us, he will explode our ball if he's electrocuted. He's not currently electrocuted because he gave off the discharge, but whatever. One second. Alright. Gosh, ball, got ball physics. Come on, ball physics! Poor Frankenstein's monster. He's just wandering around. He's like, I don't want to do this. Huh. All right. Come on. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Then just throw it on. Oh, no, what? Dang it. So close. So close. All right. 
it's not hard, it's just kind of obnoxious. I got plenty of lives, and I'm pretty sure when I die it won't reset the, uh, the, uh, the towers, so please don't electrocute that. He did electrocute that. What an asshole! Now we just gotta wait for him. That, my friends, is why this is obnoxious. Because it's not hard, it's not difficult at all, it's just obnoxious that you have to wait so long for him to do that. So, so long for him to just wander, meander back along, and then kick the opposite one so that will stop being electrocuted. Also because you keep falling because the jump physics are kind of hard. Frick. Oh man, and again, if you get anywhere close to him, he will electrocute you with your ball. But it's okay. We're all good. We're all fine and dandy. Because we don't actually have to go that way, we can go to the right, too. Freak. That shaking knocked me off. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang darn. I think I'm going to take a break after this. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Glover today. I might be able to. Please don't electrocute that. You asshole! Why don't you go for another one, please? <sighs> Just go for another one, please. Goodness. That's like the most important one, you dick. Alright. Jump. Oh, oh shoot, shoot! He's right behind me! I might actually game over from this, and I had 19 lives. I had 19 lives, ladies and gentlemen. This level's hard. Although, I hear Tail, I don't remember the last level, like, at all, literally. Gosh dang. I hear Tail that that level is really, really freaking difficult. We will see in the next episode. If I ever manage to beat this boss. God damn it. Freak! Alright, now I might as well not even go up because the ball he when he kicks it, he'll just knock me down. Man, I was making good time too. I was at like 20 minutes. How long is this boss going? This is definitely the hardest boss so far that I've fought. Well, like, hardest that I've actually been able to deal with him rather not well. Frick! I timed that poorly. Don't get near me, you son of a bitch. Okay. <sighs> now I just gotta wait for him to go kick things again, because can't do anything while he's kicking it. Because as you can see, it shakes everything and knocks me down. I don't believe it knocks you down if you're bouncing. Like, if you're in the air, it will not. But I don't want to test it. Oh, frick. What the hell? I wasn't anywhere near you. <laughs> oh, please don't come near me. Oh, okay, good. This is really annoying. Like, okay, now I'm actually pissed off. This is really freaking obnoxious. Oh, I hate this boss now. Oh, I really hate this boss. If I if I lose the, to this guy one more time, if I get if I lose another life, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do him off screen mostly. Just wait until I go up and kill him. Because I don't want to have you guys sit through this. This ain't fun. Oh god, that was close. Yep, 
And I'm, yep, there I go. Game over, everybody. This is a game over screen. That's it. Game over. And then you gotta just go back into the game. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off screen. In the next episode, we're going to do that and then move on to the final world. So this is a little bit different than how it normally goes. But whatever, we can deal. I'm still really upset from that boss. That guy is really obnoxious. Maybe I should have practiced him. Practiced him. Maybe that would have helped. But who knows. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Glover. See you all then.